Hello everyone, welcome to Research Campus. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install and use Microsoft 365 app on your mobile phone for free. Now, the Microsoft 365 Office app is an incredible handy tool for professionals, students, or any person who constantly work with printed materials. Now, this app comes with the latest version of Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Excel all in one place. Now, there are some significant differences with the Office desktop version, of course, like the editing function on the mobile app might be limited as compared to the desktop version. But don't worry because the app compensates for it with a range of other tools that will help you work more efficiently. For example, you can easily scan any document using your smartphone's camera. You can also sign any PDF documents. The app allows you to sign PDFs directly on your smartphone without the need of any additional software. And another fantastic feature about this app is that it will help you convert images to text. With the Office app, you can simply take a photo of the document and the app will convert it into editable text. So without further ado, let's go and see how we can install this app and start using it on our mobile phone. So open up your phone and go to Play Store and on the search bar, type in Office 365. Scroll down, I'm going to see it here. Click and then click the install button to install it on your phone. After it's done installing, it's going to carry out some security tests. So once you're here, click the open button at the bottom. Once it's opened up, just click the get started button until you go to the next step. Again, you're going to see this message, click the next. And right here, you can just click don't send add optional data and then click close. Once you're in here, you might see a message like this, which is asking you to upgrade to their paid plan by going premium. Or if you don't want to just click the skip for now button and again, click try later to take you to the next step. Okay, so once you're here, the next step is for us to log into our account or if you don't have an account, you can create an account. You cannot start using this app if you don't sign in. So to create an account or to log into your account, click on the little person icon at the top and you'll be led here. Now click on connect your account. This is a step where you're going to sign into your Microsoft account. But if you don't have one, you can simply create one by clicking the create one button at the bottom and you can create one with your email address. I already have one, so I'm going to type in my email address and click next. Now click the send code button and it's going to send you a code to your email address. So we're going to go back to our email, open up email and you're going to see the email right here. So this is mine, Microsoft of account team. And this is where they send the code, click. And once it's done, you're going to see this is a code right here. So what I'm going to do is to carefully copy it, copy, and I'm going to go back to my app and then just paste the code right there and then click sign in. Now you just have to wait while it creates your account if you don't already have an account. But for me, since I already have an account, it's going to try to fetch all my documents that I have in my account so I can see them on my phone. So these are my documents. These are the documents that I created. Remember with Microsoft Office 365 app, anything you do is being stored online so you can easily retrieve all of your documents. So once you have your app in your phone, now you can start using it easily. So let's go ahead to see how we can use this app. I'm going to be showing you how to use this app to easily scan any document, how to convert images into text, how to sign any PDF document online and even convert Word documents to PDF or PDF documents to Word. And also how you can easily make quizzes or questions or multiple choice questions using your mobile phone. We're going to start by creating a quiz. To create a quiz, simply click the create button. Click on forms. Now, once it's opened up, you might see this message. Just click get started to skip and now click the add new and you can now start creating. You can type in your question right here. I'm going to be creating a student enrollment class form. So I'm just going to type name of student. Click add new to add another question. 
type in your question depending on which answer you want from your student click the long answer button turn it on also turn on the required button click again on the add new to add another question this time there's going to be a multiple choice question when you click on add new you're going to see choice down here just tap on choice and then you can now type in your question next you add in your answers tap on option one to type in your answers option two to tap, type in your answer every time you want to add an option click on add option to type in the answer then make sure you turn on the multiple answers button i'm going to keep going and adding some different questions you can also duplicate a particular question or even delete the question by clicking on these three dots and you have the options right here to either copy the question or delete the question. Now you can also reorder the position of the question by clicking move question up or simply just hold down the question and just drag up or down as you wish. So that's how you can easily reorder your questions. Now, once you're done creating your form, then you can click this arrow button at the bottom to send it. Now, you can either send through an email by typing in the person's email address or simply copy a link. So, you can click on copy link at the bottom to be able to send the form to the person that you want to answer the question. So, to demonstrate, I copied the link and pasted in a notepad and then I opened it up. And here is how the question is looking like. Then, the person can simply just answer the questions and then submit the response so once the student is done answering the questions they can click on the submit button and it will be submitted so you can simply go back to your app and click on the form to see the response of the students so depending on the number of responses you're going to see the numbers right here as you can see it's just one response and you can go ahead to scroll and see the answers of the students now the second way to use the app is to scan your document to scan a document click on the create button again and you're going to see scan click on the scan option it's going to open up your camera and then you can simply just adjust and then snap next you're going to see this adjustable white line around your document so simply just use the finger to adjust then you can just click the next button or the arrow button at the bottom and then you can just simply change your filters right here so you can choose from the different options that they give you at the bottom now once you're done click the next button again right here you're going to choose the file format that is if you want to save it as an image or a pdf and then next is the file size we're going to leave it at high and then here is where to save your document do you want to save it on your device directly or online on OneDrive? now once you're done with your selection simply click the save button at the bottom and once it's done, you now have a perfectly scanned document. It's literally like having a personal scanner right in your pocket. Another way we can use this app is to extract text from images. So what you're going to do is to click on the apps launcher button right down. And you're going to click on scan at the top. Now once that is opened up, you're going to see image to text. So click the open button beside the image to text option. It's going to open up your camera so bring your camera closer to the document that you want to take a snapshot of it adjust it and snap and then it's going to bring out this white line again so just again adjust it by using your fingers and then just click the continue button at the bottom so once it's done extracting your text so this is how it's going to look like so again you can go through the document read it through and do some adjustment because of course it is artificial intelligence so it is not a hundred percent correct so you're going to do some manual adjustment and once that is done you can simply just copy your text and paste it wherever you want to paste Another way to use this app is to use it to sign PDF documents. So let's say you have an agreement that you need to sign online. Simply open up the PDF agreement and then tap on the document and you're going to see the options appear at the bottom. So these are the options that we need. Click on the three dots which says more. Click on where it says sign PDF. Now, once the document is opened up, just tap on where you need to sign the document and you're going to see select signature. So click on create new. It's going to open up like this. So this is where you're going to need to put in your signature where it says, please sign here. So just tap on it and then you sign. Now you can choose the colors from the different options. You have black, green and blue. So you can choose it from the different options listed here. So I'm going to leave it with the black and then I sign. 
just use your finger you also to have sign. the option to store your signature you can turn that on that is if you have some other documents to sign in the future you can always use your signature right here so once that is done click the tick button at the top and this is the signature here all you need to do is to just adjust by using your finger to drag in or drag out so you can just adjust it and then place it to where you are supposed to put your signature now in case you have multiple places to sign on the document simply tap on where you want to sign and then you can simply just take your signature or add another signature but i've already stored my signature so that is why it is there so all i need to do is to just click on my signature and the signature will appear here and all i need to do is to just adjust it another good thing is that assuming that two persons need to sign on one document so you can use different colors again the person can use a green color instead of black and then just sign and you see the difference so those are just some of the uses of this app now these are not just all you can also use this app to do a lot more you can also use it to convert documents to pdf to convert pictures into pdf or to convert pdf to words so it has a lot more uses and not forgetting one of the most important feature about this app is that it stores all of your files and documents on clouds so all the files and documents that you have in this app are being stored online so you can always retrieve them using any device. You just simply need to log into your account on Microsoft and you can easily retrieve all of your documents. So you don't run the risk of losing all of your files when you're working on this app. All right, guys, so we have come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. And also, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed to the channel. Please do not forget to also hit the notification bell so that you get notified by YouTube every time we upload a video. Thank you so much for watching.